Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K40 Poco F3, also known as the Mi 11X. Now, I sound excited because we are going to see how to install Android 12 Beta 4 on this particular device and it is working great. So very soon, maybe by tomorrow, you will have a quick first impressions video as well. But this tutorial is a little lengthy because the flashing process needs a computer and stuff like that. So please follow this video step by step. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so first things first, we are going to talk about the prerequisites over here. You, of course, need a Redmi K40, a Poco F3 or a Mi 11X, one of the three devices. Essentially, they are the same phones. They need to have more than 50% battery. I repeat, don't do this if you're going to be below 50% battery because this is a lengthy process. It can take about 10 to 15 minutes to have the complete flash done. So make sure you have more than 50% battery. You will, of course, need unlocked bootloader. You will need a Type-C USB cable, which you're going to connect to your your computer you need to have fast boot drivers for your phone installed so that in fast boot mode your phone is detected by your computer and on your windows computer you will need uh, extracting software like winrar i'm going to be using 7zip and last and most important you need to make sure you are on xiaomi.eu because it is a prerequisite set by the developer so if you are on any other rom First, go ahead and flash xiaomi.eu and only then follow this process. And a word of caution, everything on your phone's internal memory will be erased. So please make sure you back up your precious images, videos, whatever data you have on your phone. Just make sure you go ahead and back it up, right? Now, this is the initial part when I tell you everything, what is needed and what is not needed. We will now move on to the flashing process. Now you need to download two files which are mentioned in the description. One is the ROM itself. The name of that file is Pixel 5 812B4 Mi 11X. That is the one. And the second one is Win Flasher Fix because some people were having issues flashing this ROM on Windows. All right, so let's first go ahead and prepare the phone. Now I am on Xiaomi.eu. Let me show you that here real quick. Although I am on the weekly beta, as you can see over here. Now moving on, you need to first remove all the security features or the security restrictions. So you need to go to security over here, passwords and security. So first let's remove the screen lock, turn off screen lock. When you do that, your fingerprint face unlock is taken care of. Next, you need to go to your MI account and remove it. All right. Once you've removed your MI account, you need to go ahead and remove all your Google accounts as well. And select the second email if you have any, remove account. After this, you need to once go ahead and restart the device. Now, the reason we are doing this, this is a safety measure because you're going to be flashing another ROM. And for any reason like FRP lock or MI account lock won't be there because we are going to a different ROM which doesn't have MI UI services. But still, it's always a good practice to remove all the security features like face unlock, fingerprint unlock, screen password, or MI account or Google account, which can cause potential problems when trying to flash or move to a different ROM after flashing. So yeah, the annoying MI UI boot animation sound there. All right. Now we are almost done preparing the phone. All we need to do is press and hold the power button, select reboot. Now press and hold volume down and power till the time you see the fast boot logo. Okay. Now your device is in fast boot. So we will go ahead and connect the USB cable here real quick. Okay. Now we have connected the phone to the computer. Now we move to the computer to do the remaining things. All right. So first things first, you can see over here, I have created a folder Android 12 beta 4. These are the two files and they are not extracted. So we will go ahead and extract them one by one. And for me, it's 7-zip. So 7-zip, open archive. These are the files over here. So you can select extract. So we'll extract it here itself. 
wait for the extraction process to complete. Now we're going to do the same thing with the second folder as well. And we're going to extract it in the second location, Win Windows Flasher Fix. Select these two, extract, and the same root location. This is a relatively small file, so it will extract easily. There you go. Basically what we are doing is we need to go ahead and extract all the files to a single folder or if you are extracting them to different folders, you just need to, you know, go ahead and copy the Windows Flasher fix, the two files which are there in there to the main folder. So all the files are in one particular folder. Now let's wait for the extraction to complete. All right. Now, as you can see, all the files have been extracted and these are the number of files that you will see over here. The first two pixel file and the win flasher fix, those are zip files. So ignore them, nothing to worry there, right? Now, what we need to do here is go to win tools first. And over here in the address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. Okay, now we're going to verify if the device is connected or not. So we'll type in fast boot space devices and hit enter. Now, as you can see over here, this right here signifies that the device is connected. Now let's go back and the file of interest over here is flasher windows force wipe M. Now at this point, you need to make sure your computer doesn't have any sleep mode settings or it is not set to, you know, go shut down or go to sleep or something like that when it is not in use for a long time. So make sure you've taken care of all of those. And if you're using a laptop, make sure your power, you know, plugged into a power source so that in case your battery runs out, you don't shut down and damage your phone and your USB should be connected to the computer. So double click on this. Okay, now your device will reboot a few times. As you can see over here, it rebooted back into fast boot. Let's make this a full screen because this is what matters. Now, as you can see, it has already started flashing, sending boot A, flashed. Okay, now it's rebooting again. Invalid sparse file format at header magic. That's what it says. Ignore that message. There is nothing to worry. It is just an informative message over there. So nothing to worry over there. Now, in this entire process, you have to be completely patient. Now, the reason I'm saying this, this file that you see over here, sending sparse super one of seven. Now, these are big files. It depends on a lot of factors like what type of a USB cable you're using, which USB port you're using, like USB 2 or USB 3, and what is the performance of your computer. In total, there are seven of these files. So patiently wait. It can take up to 10 to 15 minutes for all these partitions or image partition sections to be flashed so please be patient while that happens now let's wait for it to complete and uh, to the right next to ok the time that you see is in seconds 18.75 seconds 19.091 seconds and stuff like that now i have connected this to a usb 3 port this particular device so it should be relatively fast let's see how much total time it takes to flash the complete rom we are already at number four. All the seven partitions are now flashed. I did get an error once, so I started over again. I got a failed message on sparse super partition number six and seven. So I just rebooted into fast boot and started again. Now it does say finished total time 262.907 seconds on the screen. You need to be patient. There is something still going on. Don't disconnect the device. Don't turn off your computer. There you go. See, it's still doing some stuff. Okay. Now, the moment you see, you can root after going through setup wizard, rebooting, finished, press any key to exit, right? So you can click, you can click any key over here to exit. Then you need to press and hold volume up and power to boot into TWRP. Now keep it pressed till the time you see POCO or MI logo and then you will boot into TWRP. There you go. You can release it now. Okay. Now give it like 5 to 10 seconds for the touch drivers to load and then we will go to wipe, format data, type in yes over here, tick mark. Ignore all these errors. Just make sure that you are formatting of data is fine and then you can do a reboot system say about 15 to 30 seconds and you should be booting into android 12.
so we have the Google boot logo now let's wait for the device to boot okay so it says there is an internal problem ignore this message speech services by Google keep stopping close this okay skip let's skip through the setup part real quick Android 12 beta 4 in all its glory it's suggesting the dark theme skip there you go you're ready to start using your phone swipe up to home there you go so you do see over here we do have android 12 beta 4 successfully flashed it is smooth as butter as you can see over here and you have a look at this android version 12 so this is your android 12 easter egg security patch is the latest august security patch and trust me guys it's really really smooth i'm surprised how good this particular port is i will definitely be making a video of how good or bad the first impressions are let me know in the comment section if this video helped you or not until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye <laughs>